Whoa, check it out. This is evergreen clematis. And it is, um, I started this plant last year, two little bitty uh, containers. Man, I think they were one quart containers. Started one right here and it's gone up and spread all this way. I haven't had it going hard towards the one closest to the house because um, I know what climbing stuff can do. <laughs> so I angled it over this way to the center one. And then we put another one right here. That was the second one, about a one quart container. And it kind of went up these ways. And uh, how do you like that English, these ways? But um, man, it is March the 4th. And uh, this is one year of growth. The things have climbed that much. One year of growth and it is loaded with super fragrant little white flowers. It smells so good over here. This is one side of it. Let me go over here and show you the other side. It's probably thicker on this side than it is the other side, actually. Um, as it grows, I just kind of weave. I'll show you right here. This is some new growth. Um, I just kind of weave it right on through so you don't even have to, uh, the plant will do it on its own quite a bit. Um, but I'll just stick these little things right through there and it'll start growing. Um, it is we're kind of a mild um, end of February, early March. So this thing is already growing like crazy. You see me just kind of weave it through. Even if you don't weave it through, it'll, it'll uh, find little things to attach it to. You can see some wild hairs coming off up top. I'll end up letting these on the top grow a little further because I can't reach them. <laughs> this is uh, the structure is about uh, nine feet tall. I can reach about eight feet, so it's got about another foot. But you can tell those are actually already curving over. They'll come down and then I'll start getting them intertwined all through here and it'll run down and fill this whole side up. And um, by the uh, late, late summer or late spring, early summer, these uh, trellises will be just about slam full with it. So cool plant if you like uh, climbing plants and super fragrant. It's not, uh, it's not fragrant all year long. It's mainly a spring bloomer, and, um, but it is evergreen. The leaves stick around all winter. Now y'all know we had a couple of uh, really hard freezes over winter after some mild temps. So we've got some tip burn. So not a perfect plant, not many are, just like there's not really any perfect people. <laughs> Plants aren't always perfect, but man, when you step back, you don't see those little burnt places real bad. Those leaves will take care of themselves over time, but boy, this uh, white fragrant flowers smell absolutely awesome on this thing, and it is just loaded with them. So wanted to point it out to you. Neat little plant. What you got growing in your yard?